Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for joining. This is basically a video of my first impression of the Air City Sling bag. So essentially, uh, this is a bag that I wanted for quite some time. Unfortunately, this was originally only sold in Japan when Air did a very exclusive collaboration with Oshman. However, I think based on the demand of people wanting this bag, Air was able to go ahead and release this in the States. So there's two different colorways for this bag. Black, which is the one I have here, and there is also a gray one as well. Um, so overall, um, you know, just touching this material, it's made up of Kodura ballistic fabric, so it feels really durable. It's really thick as well, um, so I definitely can see that this will last me, you know, quite a long time. Uh, the first thing I've noticed is that um, there is a, a coating on the zipper itself. So that's great um, since it's preventing water from you know seeping through the zipper so it is very highly water resistant and that's great for me because I'm actually residing in Seattle and you know it rains quite a lot here. In the very front compartment um, there's really nothing except for one large pouch area um, and the interior is uh, just very minimalist. Um, it has a, a great interior and the material feels uh, in general really it's really nice um, and then on the right side you'll see a little lanyard with a clip so you're able to go ahead and attach a key or maybe perhaps even a USB flash drive and just store it safely in this compartment itself. Each zipper here is made of YKK so that actually also signifies really good quality. The air was able to go ahead and um, incorporate it into the bag itself. Uh, the main compartment, which I've noticed is different from the very front compartment, uh, there is no water resistant coating material on here, so that's pretty unfortunate. However, um, yeah, I'm not too sure if water will be able to seep through, but I guess I'll be able to kind of confirm that and determine that uh, when I actually use this out on the real world. In the main compartment itself, uh, it is a 2.4 liter capacity compartment. Um, in the back, you'll see the AR tag that's designed in San Francisco. We're able to go ahead and put additional, I would say, um, every, everyday carry essential items in this uh, particular uh, sleeve in itself. The main compartment, which you know, um, you're able to also put in additional everyday essential items. On the opposite side, uh, you'll see two elastic bands with two additional pouches that you're able to go ahead and store you know, uh, specific items that you do want to carry for organizational purposes. And lastly, you'll see another Waikiki zipper with another compartment uh, in the back. So that's pretty much it on the main compartment in itself. And one thing I really like about Air's design philosophy is that they somehow added, you know, I would say kind of like a hidden compartment in the very back. And this also has uh, a simple pouch where you're able to store, let's say, you know, local currency for traveling, your wallet, uh, or even government issued ID such as, uh, you know, your driver's license or your passport. So I really like this here. And each one of the zippers actually has a, a little plastic tab that says air on it. And um, yeah, it's a small little attention to details that air was able to go ahead and uh, incorporate into the city sling. But one thing I really like about the back portion is that um, no matter how you're basically kind of wearing this, the city sling, um, this particular portion of the bag is always going to be in contact with your body. So if you're, uh, you know, sporting this particular sling up in the front, it's always going to be touching your, you know, your chest or your stomach. Or if it's in the back, then it's going to be your mid or lower back. So because it's always in contact with your body, the great thing is if you're traveling, um, you know, there's a uh, low chances of pickpocketers to be able to kind of open this particular compartment and steal specific valuable goods. Again, simply because this is always going to be in contact with your body. So I really like that uh, design principle that Air was able to go ahead and incorporate. And lastly, it's basically these straps themselves. Um, the straps are really thick, um, meaning that they're really wide. Um, and also they're pretty, pretty soft as well. So uh, the best way to describe the strap is that it feels kind of like those uh, car seat belts. Um, so definitely you can uh, tell that this is going to last a really, really long time. Uh, the buckle themselves are plastic. I would have preferred maybe perhaps if it was made of like metal, kind of like what you see on Chrome Industries, but um, this is made uh, from Duraflex, which is a very highly reputable brand um, that makes buckles. So, you know, no complaints there, but um, I'm thinking maybe perhaps Air 
uh, use this simply because um, you know it is actually easier to uh, pass the savings to the customers and maybe perhaps they want to make this a really lightweight um, bag so that's why they decided to go ahead and use plastic but you know I could be wrong but overall um, yeah it's not it's not bad at all um, one thing that I also noticed is that there are elastic bands here um, that just kind of easily move back and forth I'm assuming this is used so that when you adjust the strap the excess flap um, can be minimized by kind of um, you know incorporating the band closer to the end but it just seems as though it freely moves so I think what I would do is probably just kind of put a pin here uh, to prevent the, um, the elastic band as well as the strap uh, from from dangling or moving um, but again I'm not too sure like the best use for this particular elastic band but again maybe I might be able to you know find out what works best for me uh, when I go ahead and use this out in the real world so overall uh, this is the Air City Sling bag in black and just want to let you know that um, at the time of this video this bag is pretty much sold out until October of 2019 so I'll still go ahead and put a, uh, a link below but um, what you can do is go ahead and submit your email and uh, you'll immediately be notified as soon as this particular bag is back in stock. So with that said, this is my very first impression of the Air City Sling bag and I hope you guys enjoy the video.